What is going on, Darth Empire? It's your boy Lefty coming at you here with another episode of Different Side of Darth, a series in which I show you a different side of the Darth members that I don't think you get to see very often. And uh, and I think this might be a fitting send off to to one of our beloved members, Darth Mose. He is taking a break. Uh, this gameplay is his. It is superb, top notch stuff. Uh, I, I we thank him and we love him very much for submitting this and uh, and we wish him the best in whatever he's trying to do during his during his brief hiatus or what I hope is a brief hiatus from YouTube. But anyway, I have sitting next to me fig again figuratively speaking, not literally speaking. I have my buddy Demon. He you've been on now, Demon. You've been on the Darth Empire twice. What does it feel like and what has been the response? Well, it feels pretty good. Um, it's kind of hard to see what the response is because uh, both times I actually went up on Darth. Uh, I also had something go up on Snipenator's channel, so it's really hard to figure out, you know, um, you know who who's coming from where and who's saying what. But uh, nonetheless, like I said, I've always been a big follower of Darth, and uh, I always enjoyed the content. So regardless of any of that, I'm always happy to come on here with you. Oh, well, thank you very much. But in return for that, in return for your insight and making sure I, or helping me or helping ensure that I don't have to speak for 9 or 10 or 11 minutes solo, your link is going to be appear in the description. And everybody, I encourage you to go check out Demon's channel. Uh, I am, it's it, There's some really good stuff. You just got recently got a hold of some, uh, some royalty-free music. And you're going to be doing something that I've been thinking about for a while and never really found the found the time or the inclination to do and that's that's incorporating music into a commentary it's a i i would i would say it's a tell me if this is fair it's like it's like a montage mix it's like a montage hybrid right it depends i kind of go different ways with it every once in a while sometimes i'll you know do the montage mix i guess where i you know put some edits and stuff in there and i'll clip and do some theatrics and sometimes i'll just do the regular commentary it just depends um i get mixed reviews on who likes what, so I kind of try to do a little bit of everything. <laughs> All right, well, we'll put your link is going to be in the description. I encourage everybody to go check it out. But anyway, now that all that's out of the way, we have some breaking news here. As the title implies, it's all big in caps with exclamation points and all those things, or exclamation points, however you say it. I don't care anymore. Uh, <laughs> But there's some, been some breaking news on Modern Warfare 3. Now, up until this point in the series, we've been talking about a Call of Duty MMO. And, uh, and, and Demon and myself have just been spitballing about the idea because I, it was Sledgehammer Games, wasn't it, that was supposedly in development of this COD MMO before they were brought in for Modern Warfare 3. Isn't that right, Demon? Yeah, that's correct. It was Sledgehammer. So it was Sledgehammer Games. We were just opining on the idea. We were just like, oh, yeah, what if what was a COD MMO look like? But some breaking news came out recently. Now, this is from computerandvideogames.com. They have this article. Uh, this is, I'm just going to read you a, a few bits and pieces here. It's some really interesting stuff. It says, Activision unsurprisingly has high hopes for this year's Call of Duty game, saying it will set a new standard in the genre and include, an, a quote, an unprecedented online universe. Activision CEO Eric Hirschberg, I think that's how you say it, talked up the next COD game in the firm's investors call earlier today by and quote by any measure Call of Duty is one of the biggest entertainment franchises in the world and we expect this year's game to set a new standard in the franchise he said the creative excellence and sheer scale of the game we are making and the unprecedented online universe that will accompany it will reset the bar for this genre giving players a new level of immersion connectivity community and of course epic action now that's from the Activision CEO Eric Hirschberg. Demon, when you when you read that, when you first read that article, obviously you read it. What were your thoughts? What first thing that popped into your head? Well, the first thing that popped into my head was it said we expect this year's game will set a new standard in the franchise. So that's saying that they're going to be coming out with it this year. Mm -hmm. um, however, throughout the whole article and throughout the whole quote, it doesn't say anything about Modern Warfare Three. However. We do know that Infinity Ward is involved with it, and they hold legal rights to Modern Warfare Three, Modern Warfare Three, or Modern Warfare series, for that matter. So it's it's the assumption that it's going to be Modern Warfare Three. I believe the um, the actual website may have gotten ahead of themselves, but mm -hmm. um, secondly, it says unprecedented online universe. Uh, this is kind of like a bridging, probably I'm guessing like a bridging of the gaps between the MMO and the console based. 
uh, Call of Duty that we're all used to seeing. So uh, could it be hype? Possibly, but we're going to have to wait and find out. It sounds like uh, they're pouring some serious money into it, and uh, I can't wait to see how it comes out. Right, because, I mean, one thing that, I mean, we've been talking about this for a while, and again, like I said, it's just been kind of spitballing, just thinking about what could or would be. And uh, Sledgehammer Games was in development, of course, apparently, of, of supposedly, I should say, they stopped production on their Call of Duty MMO, or, or not production or development, and, uh, and came in to help out with the multiplayer aspect of Modern Warfare 3. And uh, and now with this coming out, hearing that from the CEO, the most immersive online experience in the genre, that has to that that screams MMO, doesn't it? Or at least a bridge, a hybrid of some kind? Yeah, I know it does. It it does scream MMO and it's the thing it kind of it kind of gave all signs pointing to a COD MMO without saying it's going to be. <laughs> so, I mean, uh it could be. We know Sledgehammer and Raven software are involved in it, so it it could be. We'll have to wait and find out. Now, I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Of course, this is we are. We I guess we should understand that we are talking about Activision, a a company that is not unknown for its its over the top antics and and sometimes bullying abilities. So, I it, do you think? I mean, given the Activision's reputation, that this is just a whole lot of hype and they you know because i'm a former madden player and and one of the reasons i moved away from the franchise was because it was all hype every single year it was we've added this it's so new it's awesome it's amazing and it was just the same game with a roster update year after year for the longest time and i was like you know what i'm not paying 60 bucks well here's the thing it could be all hype it could be but you have to think about who they're competing against this year they got battlefield 3 coming out and if they don't deliver, I have a sneaky suspicion that Call of Duty is going to start to fade away. Because, I'm sorry, Battlefield 3 looks beautiful. That's a tall order to compete with that game. And the fact that they said um, it's going to be an immersion and all this stuff, you have to think, they've been talking about this and they've been hyping games up for so long that it, if they don't deliver, they're going to lose their audience. So I don't think they have a choice. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, I don't, I don't think either one of us is saying, and, and, uh, and I don't think we would want any of the viewers to take away from this video that we are saying that Modern Warfare 3 will be the Call of Duty MMO. I don't think that's what we're saying at all. But I think it's very, very interesting, and the next few months are going to be very, very interesting because it's quite possible that Sledgehammer Games, when they were brought in to Modern Warfare 3, I mean, because Infinity Ward is a shell of its former self, Raven Software, I mean, they're, they're a first time on the Call of Duty, uh, on the Call of Duty franchise, and it, when they were brought in, it's, it's possible Activision told Raven, or not Raven, Sledgehammer said, hey, look, all right, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait for the Call of Duty MMO, give us what you got, because we want to get this out this year, because we got to compete with, like you said, Demon Battlefield 3. But I, I, are there anything, any elements, I mean, just off the top of your head, again, this isn't breaking news, this isn't definitive, this isn't confirmed, we got to get out of here real quick. Anything off the top of your head that you think might work in terms of bringing that over just to, uh, uh, to bridge that gap between MMO and what is the COD franchise as of right now? I'm thinking maybe something they haven't done is a more definitive-based online campaign type thing. Uh, get rid of the prestiges. Get rid of you know. Get rid of the rinse and repeat. Bring something new to the online experience that they have not yet done. Kind of like how Chrome Hounds, like we talked about in one of the previous commentaries, Chrome Hounds did that. The launch title for the Xbox 360. It was like an online MMO campaign, where you joined a faction and uh, and what you did online helped wage the war, so to speak, of what is the what was the campaign. Exactly. If okay. they want to make if they want to make big waves, they need to do something new with the online because that's what we all love to play, and hopefully they can deliver. All right, well that's gonna have to be it for today. Thank you for joining Demon. Be sure to check out the respective channels of Demon and myself. There's a lot of great stuff. If you want to see the older commentaries on this subject, where it started on on my channel, all you know, all the videos are going to be there. Go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. Also, same thing for Demon. He's doing that that great kind of commentary montage mix thing, uh, and it's really really interesting over on his channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Just go to twitter.com/lefty643. That's where you can interact with 
with me, ask me questions, find out about open lobbies, all that kind of stuff. All right, guys, that's our time. We got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. Again, thank you to Darth Mose for the for the awesome gameplay. We wish him the best of luck in whatever it is he chooses to do in his in his hopefully brief hiatus. Thank you for joining. We hope you enjoyed. We are out.